Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome please hit the thumbs up subscribe and let's get right into another video so our friend John John boy Johnny boy is back he put up an Insta post the other day su suggesting he might come back with his videos and I wasn't sure. I didn't think that he would. I thought it was maybe a, a joke or a rhetorical question. Shall I put my videos back up? But no. Oh my God, no. He put up this post on Insta. He's put in in YouTube news, I ask the older two what videos they would like me to put back up and they said their birthdays and Christmas. I also added the renovation videos and some of the other ones that are special to us. Now, he's he's asked his older two, his 8 and 10 year old, if he should put them back up to exploit them again. Do they understand? The term exploitation, have you explained that to them? Have you explained to them that they will be on YouTube for all time, online for all time, every lasting moment of their life will be on for all time and that you will be making money from that. And the reason why you live in the big house is because you have made millions off of the back of them. Do they understand that? Those are the basics that you need to explain and make sure that they understand fully that anything that they do from now until the end of the time will be recorded and used against them. That's the hard and fast facts. Now this post, he commented on the live that he put up the other day in reply to some people I think um, so this was just posted a couple of days ago but he's since deleted it and he says and this is one of those anger moments where you think what on has he actually said that he says I didn't say I did it to protect the kids I said those personal videos that we used to film just don't fit in with what the internet has become. Instagram and TikTok are not personal videos like the vlogs were. So basically what he's saying there is that when he took all his videos down, it was not to protect his kids. That was not the reason he took them down. That child protection was not in his fourth was not the fourth forethought in his mind. They just didn't fit in with what the internet has become now, which is a place where people don't take too kindly to child exploitation. But I I I'm kind of stumped as to how he's come up with this how he's even put that into words i thought he may bring these videos back at some point but never did i believe that it would be what within a week is that how long it took a week that ugh. i'm i'm blown away i am actually blown away i and i can't believe it because if you look down at the ones that he's put back, let's see, Edie's school hair tutorial, name reveal party, transgender daughter, saying goodbye to her old name, transgender daughter, trans daughter and non-binary husband, gender reveal, do over, transgender daughter, as promised all the, uh, the birthday ones, Andrea's third birthday, Eduardo's third seventh birthday you haven't changed his name hmm interesting 
Eduardo's birthday, fourth birthday party, all the birthdays basically. But all the most, all the child centric birthdays, ironically, given that Jonathan has said that his content is not child led and it is Jonathan and Anna led, apparently. But according to what's on his channel, it's very much child led. It's all to do with children, their birthdays, their Christmases. What the hell is this? Um, he got me see through underwear for my birthday. Okay, not child led content, obviously, but also not child friendly content, which goes against everything else that's on the channel. Um, I haven't watched that video, so might give it a peek later. Surprising the kids with a tattoo of their names. Mm. So, yeah, if you look down all the videos, it's all child centric. Child this, child that. And this isn't exploiting their kids in any way whatsoever. I, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. When John was saying that his content is not about the children. And I was saying, yes it is. I'm clearly wrong. Obviously, look at this. I have a lot of explaining to do. And a lot of apologies to make. Because it's clearly this sixth birthday party is all about John, I think. And honestly, I, I'm i just astounded, absolutely astounded by his, his arrogance, his stupidity. What was it he said? I never said it was to protect the children. I am absolutely gobsmacked. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and join me again tomorrow for another video. Thank you again. Bye bye.